Imagine if it was one of you managing the football club. What would you be like? It's an, it's an, honestly, I'm humbled to do it. Honestly, um, I'm immensely, immensely proud to be the, the manager of the football club. And what I'll give you, I'll give you everything I've got. I work as hard as I can every single day. And what you see, you'll see passion. You'll see a, a never say die attitude with my teams. They won't give up. If they do give up, I'll let them know about it, put it like that. And well, all four of us will. But like I say, I'm, I'm so proud. Of course, when a, when, a, when a friend calls you and you look at the opportunity of the football club and the great support that the, this club has, and a uh, magnificent chairman, the stadium is, is, is fantastic. The, the training ground obviously is as well. I was here 20 years ago, I've seen that. So I knew that was a, was a great training ground. So unfortunately, I didn't come at that time. Uh, but I'm here now, I'm excited, I'm looking forward of course to, uh, to work with John then. as you said he's a, you know, a good friend for you know, a long long time. So when I went on the board and opened the door, I don't know, they said Jonathan Goodie is the manager, so when I met him, Goody! <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe it, and then, wow, it's you, wow, fantastic. And then, this is, this is the, the link, the stronger link that you need to understand now. What it's about, why we are here now. So he said, I, I, I felt like maybe the club pressured him, uh, maybe Leo. He said, No, no, because he has too many options for to bring. And then he gave me the opportunity to, to come, and then he showed me a message where we go promoted. He finished his career, or maybe finished to stay in, in Boro as a, as a player. So I sent a message telling him, like, Thank you for your leadership, not only outside, inside the field, also outside. You, you was a great great with us, you helped a lot of and uh, people like you with this character, with this attitude. Uh, I'd be connected so I will look after you, whatever you need, please let me know. And he kept the message like for four years, three years and a half. So that's, that's this man, what is, we're talking about, you know. The true man, the true character, he kept it that and he asked me, this is still valuable, it's still, uh, uh, still true? Of course. The first time I'd met uh, the gaffer. And um, it was like I've known him for years, to be honest. That's how it, it felt straight away. Um, and then we had a meeting with the guys. Uh, met Leo, again, same. Like I've known Leo all my life. It was, uh, it was brilliant. And um, I had one overnight bag and ended up staying three days. And if you remember the picture, everybody like dressed very smartly. And, and I knew you were a stinker there, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to say to you. <laughs> Yeah, polo shirt on for three days and everyone uh, else in suit. So, no, it was uh, fantastic just to, to get the call and um, even a, a great feeling the day after when they just said, we want you uh, as part of this team. And again, so proud when uh, when I got that, that offer. Your first managerial job, because um, you led uh, Borough Rangers United's under seven. Yeah, we won champions. We glory that season, yeah. And I believe you're going to keep both jobs going. Yeah, I did with um, with Graham Lee, the under the under twenty three coach. Both our sons playing playing the same team. You know, it's something that I really love. I think it gives something back to to grassroots and see the kids coming through and helping them on their journey. Like when I was that age, I appreciated when ex players come and handed out the trophies or coach you for a few sessions. I, I really enjoyed it. So that's that's really important for me. I'll carry on doing it. Some days I'm coaching them. Some days I'm refing them. Some days they're telling me what to do and they're all complaining at me and saying I'm not the bestest ref in the world. But yeah, again, it's something that I'm passionate about. I love football, if it's under sixes to 23s to, to first team level, I love the game. We've got players in the squad certainly that can score goals, it's just having the belief in them. And certainly as coaching staff, we give players the opportunity to, to believe that they're you know, the best players, you know, certainly in the, in, in the championship. Um, and that's all you can do, because as a striker, you know yourself, it's a confidence. It's confidence. If you're not scoring goals, you need the manager, the coaching staff, or the players around you to believe in you that you can score goals because um, every player has a little drill. That's just normal. That's football. How you react to that? How do you get yourself back on track? Walking on the training training ground, walking with with the coaching staff. I've been through. I know what it's like. Uh, didn't have a drill for too long. To be honest. <laughs> but. Uh, uh, so I know what it's like, so it's, it's, it's just giving them confidence and, and working on training ground. And we've been doing that in the last five weeks and it's, uh, we've seen massive, massive improvements. Yeah. Not just the strikers, everybody uh, in the players are buying into uh, what we want from the players. And I think, uh, from the coaching staff, sorry, I think we've, 
we'd all agree, I think we've probably seen that one uh, on Sunday against St. Etienne. That was a big, uh, I think that could be a big turning point for us in terms of how we want to play the game. And the managers installed that from day one. They want uh, the pressing game, want us to play. And that will, playing higher up the field, will give the opportunity to strikers to hopefully to score more goals. As a fan myself, what do I want to see? I want to see players who want to fight for the football club. They want to graft, who want to run. And some days it won't go to plan. Some days you'll get beat. But if, if my players are working as hard as they can and they give the sweat, the blood and the determination for the shirt, and you as the fans, you'll take. That's why I'm recruiting like that. And for now, I've got to look at the club in the future too. I don't want to start buying all the players. Don't get me wrong, at times you might need a little bit of experience here and there to help these young youngsters develop. But the minute we're going we're going that way with young, hungry, talented players. I never even played a reserve game. I went straight from the U team, straight into the first team pre season and then, you know, I didn't I didn't look back. So for me it's it's it's, it's very important. If it doesn't matter how old you are, if you're good enough to play in the first team, uh, you'll play. And the manager has, has made that very, very clear. As he said, he's not going to throw them in willy-nilly. Uh, not going to throw just youngsters in just because he said he's going to throw them in. Uh, just to keep everybody happy. He has to put them in if they're ready. To win because the last thing you want to do is kill a young man. If he plays a couple of games and the things don't go well for him, his confidence could get absolutely shattered. So it's important how we pick and choose uh, when they do play. But there's certainly a few players at this moment in time is, is uh, certainly ready to play in this first team. Do you think, um, like Jonathan, you could, you could be up there challenging with the, with the right mix? And I suppose depending on what, what happens in the next few days. Put it this way, I wouldn't have come here. Yeah. If, it, if, if he rang me and said to me, I'll come, I uh, can't wait to finish 10th. Yeah. I would have come. <laughs> the phone would have been put down. <laughs> so I wouldn't have, I just would have hung up. Just call me back. Call me back when you're not drunk. <laughs> We, we, we know as coaches that this it might take it might take a year, it might take two years. They're ambitious. We've all we're all winners. You know, we've we've had a long careers playing playing the game, okay, the top teams. Uh, I always want to win, whether that's in table tennis. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know like that? Uh, the table tennis, so it's uh, if, I, if I join in the final side, I would it's uh, two touch with the lads. We want to win. We're winners. We want to get. Uh, do as well as we can. We know that. See, I'm coming from a different perspective. I, I've uh, last year I didn't see too much, but uh, I know there's a lot of money thrown in the last, the last couple of years. The club are going in a different direction, so it might be times where we have to be a little bit patient. Uh, but no means uh, we're trying to go to the Premier League. I've been to the Premier League. It's a good place to be. <laughs> Just in general, the season ahead, what's, what's it? What's it for? Friday, that's what I'm looking forward to now. Just uh, get the first game, um, get that win that we want straight away, that everything we've been working for pre-season, everything that we've been getting together, the way we're playing, how we're doing it, everything, <clears throat> the attitude of the players, the, the staff, everything. Um, it's all about what we do Friday and, and on, on from there. So that's what I'm looking forward to.